The state's giant house party comes by its name, quite honestly. A collection of campers and cabins nestled here in the heart of Neshoba County, where so many people come each year to celebrate this loving mix of politics and reunions. A lazy Wednesday on the edge of Founders Square, and for Larry Franklin and Rebecca McLean, it's not hard to find a reason why the Neshoba County Fair is such an adored event. It's very unique, you know, there's nothing like this in the whole country. We've been coming 70, 70 years to the fair. When they started back after the World War II, in, I think it was 46, and I was 10 years old. What started as a casual gathering in some fairground fields emerged into a country city to itself. Families maintaining cabins valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars just to have a front row seat at a Neshoba County tradition. The heat, the humidity does not keep people from getting together. It's a fellowship. It's an opportunity to, to visit about what's going on in Mississippi. And that is where the stage at Founders Square comes into focus. Candidates pitching their campaigns like Shawaski Young running for the 3rd Congressional District. So today here at Founders Founder Square, it's a tough crowd. But look, I think at the end of it, when we saw the applause that we saw, the faces that were on people's faces, um, I think we did a good job of selling our mission today. And I hope folks come out and vote for me on November the 8th. And as soon as we can recognize that a modified school calendar... For Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman, his bid for re-election is still a ways away. But this is a chance to talk to voters about the threat of a recession and what to do with the state's projected surplus of some $1.3 billion. Lowering the number of employees, paying off our debt, getting ready for that. The other thing I want to do is make sure we spend this money over a period of years so we have an economic shots coming in next year, in the next year. All of this, part of an event that endures the sweltering heat each year and boasts crowds of thousands, both local and those who wish to return home for this Neshoba County tradition. The festivities pick back up, of course, Thursday with a long list of political speakers set to take the stage here at Founders Square. Entertainment at night until it all comes to an end this Friday. In Neshoba County, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.